Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Sam Does Some Sort of Random Video. So with me today, I have Jesty. Jesty, why don't you go ahead and say hi? Hey, everybody. And Nitro. Nitro, why don't you go ahead and say hi? Hello. All right. So today we're going to talk about the new file I'm coming out with to help people do ranked game scoring. Right now it's just called base load file. That name may change. Don't worry. If it does, I'll provide a comment in the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, we love all that stuff. Anyways, let's jump right into the fun stuff. Here we are in Mega Mech, and we're in the lobby. And so I've got two players here, Jesty and Nitro, who have already put together lists, and they've loaded them in. So I'm going to take Jesty's list right here. Do, do, do. Jesty, you have a big list. Oh, yeah, you got Protos. And I just highlight all of Jesty's list. So every single one of the things. And I just on my keyboard, I hit Control-C for copy. And I go over to my file. I have player one. And so Jesty's going to be player one. And I'm just going to walk right over here. And I am just going to control V paste. And Jesty's list pastes in. There's a little extra there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. Okay, so Jesty's list is now pasted in. Now, the next thing is, is we got to figure out who Jesty is. Now, fortunately, Jesty is Jesty. So we're just going to go right here. We're going to type Jesty, and you see we've got Jester, that's not him, and Jesty. Now this right here, player one, is pulling from all the players who have registered with the MRC. Now occasionally I'm going to have to update this as each new member joins, so if you're using this file and your name does not show up, or your opponent's name does not show up, just ping me, I'll update the file, and we'll roll from there. But the key thing is to remember is what the player registered as. So sometimes you have people like me who registered as Wolfpack and went on the Discord by Desert Dream, but play Mega Mech as Sam. Now, fortunately, I've changed all that just to be Sam, but make sure you know what you and your opponent are registered as so that you can put that in. All right, next step, we're gonna go to player two, back to Mega Mech Lobby. And now we're gonna take player two's list. And it's good if you do this at the beginning of your match so it's preloaded. So control C for Nitro's list back here, paste in control V, Nitro's list comes in, and then we're gonna go look for Nitro. And there's Nitro Burst, all right, as he goes by Nitro Burst. So we've now loaded everything in. Next step is to actually play the match, but we're gonna skip that for today, uh, just for a limited time. So Jesty and Nitro play their match, they come back here and they're now on this tab. Right now we have Jesty and Nitro. Uh, we're going to change it. We're going to give Jesty the win. Sorry, Nitro. Um, and then we're going to select <laughs> over here that Nitro gets the loss. Make sure you choose this. I could probably write some code to make it so that you can't both win, but I'm a little lazy and not so good about that. So make sure yeah, you select. Yeah, I use the win. I've been on a losing streak lately anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you update there. Uh, also, you want to decide what the game is. Now, in general, this will only be used for ranked matches, but you can see like, hey, what if this was a local tournament that we were playing and therefore had different multipliers? Um, but you want to make sure here in this case just to do ranked match because that will give you the specific multipliers. The next thing that you have to do is after you get done with the game is select what the final status was of all the units. You know, was it good, survived, crippled, survived but crippled, or destroyed. So select whichever one. Here we're going to go with a uh, couple destroyed, one crippled, and then down here we're going to also include a couple destroyed and a couple crippled. Okay, all the actual math happens without you having to do anything. You don't have to figure out any of this stuff, these are all formulas. Please don't touch. Let me pause here and make a note I should have made at the beginning of the video. When you go into this file, you're limited to only being able to comment on it. So what you do, the first thing you do is you do file, make a copy, and then you have your copy of the sheet. And then you can therefore make all the adjustments because now it's you and you're the editor and we're good to go there. Okay, so then you can see what all happened. So Jesty is uh, Nitro. I thought you were uh, a superstar. Did I mess something up? Ah, that's because these are coming in at zero. All right, so I'll do some coding in the background and this will get fixed, but 
it would, had I set everything up right, have pulled in that Jesty was an all-star and therefore gets zero bonus points, and Nitro as an all-star would get zero bonus points. That's because we're both all-stars. <laughs> so, so now you uh, see just what... Just to... That's a quick question. Yep. If I may. Basically, it's going to be as soon as the player is filled in, it will automatically fill in the, the bonus. Yes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video at some point and make that change to the sheet and then restart the video and tack it on to the end um, as if I didn't make any mistakes through the magic <laughs> of editing. <laughs> nice. Or you uh, could leave this all in as a little peek behind the curtain. Oh, I'm going to leave it in, but you know, <laughs> I'm not going to make people watch me do coding. So to give kind of a breakdown of how the MRC is does things, I'll do a little extra at the end, but now you're done, basically. You now know Jesty picked up 16 combat points and Nitro lost seven. Now, for any new person who's like worried, hey, I don't want to lose points, you initially join the MRC as militia, and so you get 15 points, and here at least my mess up is useful. If Nitro were a brand new person, he get 15 bonus points, and so he ends up, even though he lost the match, still getting eight positive points for his combat score, which is awesome. Go Nitro. The next step- Yeah, so that, that just incentivizes new people to play games, period. Even if you get crushed, you're still likely to go up in rank as you get experience from getting crushed. Exactly. Okay, so you come out to the MRC Discord, and you go to the tab that says ranked game form click on that and you click on the nice google doc that pops up and here's your ranked game submission form okay um i'm already in because i've been doing this a while so it just shows up with my email okay so here within the form you go down first thing you have to do is select date of match just pick whatever day it happened so today and then what era this is, right now we're doing Dark Age. And click Next. Okay, this now brings you to, okay, who's the first player? This is because I was already in it once before. Jesty. Okay, this stuff normally isn't populated. It's just I was using this form for something else and I never cleared it out. Now you need player one's force list. You go back to my handy dandy tool, which is over on this window. And here's Jesty. You just copy the list. You can copy everything, including total or not including total, whichever you want. You just control C and control V and it pastes everything in. And that's all you have to do in that part. Then you go to what units were destroyed again the form knows what was destroyed and so you just select that destroyed part and it's fine that you select blank cells don't worry about that it doesn't mean much to me so cool you paste that in and then you do the same with the crippled field you just go down to crippled copy paste Okay, and now. that's nice and convenient. Yep. The old way was kind of a pain in the butt. Where you'd have to go back and cut out which units were, you know, crippled and destroyed. You have to figure it out. That is very straightforward. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing you do uh, for the first player is decide, did that person complete their objective? <clears throat> Jesty won the match. And when we say win up here, this is the objective, not combat so if you're playing a specific mission there's plenty of times where jesty can get tabled and nitro can still have a unit left but jesty achieved the objective and so in that case jesty gets the win and nitro gets the loss so when we go over here to the ranked game that's just decided by did you complete your objective now the one caveat to that is there are times in which you could tie the objective maybe it's something like a uh domination mission and you both ended up with five objective points each so that gives you a tie and so when you are filling that in the ranked game submission you're both gonna select did you complete your objective so selecting yeah, like this cut off the head 
and you both lose your commander. So that would be an objective tie as well. Exactly. Both of you would end up selecting to do complete your objective. So then you hit next. Now you're into player two's stuff. And again, you put in player two, actual burst. And again, you can just copy it right off here because that's gonna give you exactly what the person's name is in the system. So it makes it a lot easier for me and I don't have to try and figure out who uh, some person is um, player two force list. Again, the list is right here. Copy, paste. Don't worry about the blank spaces. Don't worry about how this looks. This gives me the information I need. Uh, which units of player twos were destroyed? Copy, paste. And then finally, which ones are crippled? Copy, paste. Last, did you achieve the objective? You can, again, if it's a draw, you both click this button. Now one player, one person's doing this, you click it for both players. Um, if it wasn't a draw, make sure you do select which person was the winner so I don't have to, again, guess. And then next, last key part, if this game was for territorial warfare, please list the region, territory, and faction that each player wants. Just would put here, Jesty, uh, Clan, Goliath, Scorpion, supporting um, Pirates, Verse, Nitro, uh, Nitro, what do you like? He's DCMS. DCMS, supporting Clan, uh, Ghost Bear in uh, TW. Uh, what did Pirate <laughs> declare? Uh, Nash Nashville Airport. We'll, we'll have a separate episode where we go into details of what territorial warfare is. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. If you're not doing it, this is just it. And the last thing you would do is then hit submit. I'm not going to do that because then I have to go in and delete it because this match didn't actually happen. So I'm just going to hit clear Yet. form. And that will cover putting it into the ranked game submission. So I'm going to pause here for a minute and see if Jesty and Nitro might have some questions that I might have gone over a little too fast. I don't think I have any questions. It's really straightforward. If you go back to the actual form itself, well, that way we can... You, we can kind of, you know, explain to people like, oh, hey, you don't need to worry about this. This is all automated, automatically inputted, like the calculation sheet. Okay, awesome. this right. is the one that looks fucking scary. Yep. Okay, I'm going to kind of go through how MRC scoring works. And again, you don't really have to worry about much. The only thing you have to worry about is you have to give me your list and you have to tell me what the status of each unit was. Good could mean anything from it doesn't even have a scratch on it to it lost an arm or maybe a leg, but it did not go into force withdrawal or crippled status. Crippled means that it did survive the match, but was not destroyed, but did enter force withdrawal or crippled status. And then DEST for destroyed is it was destroyed. Okay, so let's talk real quick about good crippled destroyed. So I'm pulling up an old game log. This will be the last screen you see on Megamech. This was a match I did against Nitro where he just took me to town. Uh, victory winner is team three. That's just on regular BV. If he also beat me objectively, so that doesn't matter. But just to remember, if you have a specific objective, MRC cares who won the objective, not who won the way that Megamech describes it. All right, so right here you can see survivors are. I have a spectator left from this match. So that means it is either good or crippled. And one of the cool things about Megamech when you're in Megamech, is you can actually click on that little hyperlink right there and it will show you the status of the unit if, just in case you can't remember if that was destroyed or crippled. Same thing with Nitro's two survivors. And then everything else is destroyed. So Graveyard contains here is what was destroyed in the match. Even if it says destroyed by pilot error, it still counts as destroyed. That's all I need you to do is just change these little status icons to the actual status. That will then yeah. populate everything that happens over here. 
So as you toggle something from good to destroyed, this value changes. So before, so now it's 601. Yeah, so this screen looks big and scary, but the only portion we need to worry about for this particular phase is A, who the players are over there in the top left, or, or top right where Sam's floating around right now. And then B, the yellow area, which is unit status, which is that tab going straight down. Everything else is not really of any consequence. It's either auto-filled or auto-calculated and you don't have to mess with it. So this screen looks very big and very scary. And the first time I saw it, I was like, whoa, no, I'm out. <laughs> but after he's gone through it and explained it, it's very straightforward and very simple. Thank you, Jesse. And part of it is I spend my life in spreadsheet. To me, this isn't scary, but I can certainly understand how people get lost. So the starting BV, all that's doing is just going right here and adding up all the individual numbers. And again, real quick, this just comes from right here. So you've just pasted this right out of Megamech. Nobody had to type anything. And it just lists out what the BV is for each unit. And the file goes right there. And it says, okay, give me the unit in D5. So that's why it matters very much that you only paste specifically in these cells. So you start in A5 and just hit Control V and it'll paste everything. And again, this will turn back to yellow so that when you're opening it, it looks yellow and you know exactly where to start. Then once something gets a status, it goes in. As I was changing the status on Jesty's, you saw the score change for Nitro because again, this is what Nitro destroy. All this does right here is it goes and it says, okay, what are the status? And if it's destroyed, pull in that value. So it's adding up all the values of the dish. So this one's destroyed, plus this one's destroyed, plus this one's destroyed, plus this one's destroyed. See, some 2664, 2664. Then it does the same thing for what you crippled. Here's the one thing. For MRC, for scoring purposes, you get full value of a unit's BV when it's destroyed. So that's what you have the 2664. It ex equals exactly the BV value of every unit destroyed. Oh. If something is crippled, for MRC purposes, you only get half that value. So that's that nice little divide by two. So other than that, it's the same exact formula. It's going through, it's taking whatever units are crippled, in this case, just one, 413, and dividing it by two, and that gets you 207. Then it is summing those two numbers up. So it just adds that up together. Then it is applying a fraction, because it matters how big your list is. If you play a 7K versus or a 10k your score is still going to be the same based on units destroyed it's not that one is you know 10 times bigger and the other one's seven times bigger so while you're doing is it's taking how much you law uh sorry you got destroyed against your starting list so jesty started with a list just under 9k and nitro is able to get 2871 points off that it then gets multiplied by the modifier so when you're doing a ranked match, that's 10. So it takes this 0.287, multiplies it by 10. And then we do a little bit of rounding. So that goes from, instead of being 2.87 to three, that's gonna give Nitro three positive combat points. Then we do the separate thing, which is, okay, Nitro, you did X to Jesty, and Jesty, you did Y to Nitro. That's positive for each of you. Then it comes and says, okay, but you also had stuff done to you. So, Jesty, you lost all this BV, 2664. Yeah, I, I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and you also had this force crippled, 207. So you lost 2,871 points. Again, we take it against your BV. Say, okay, you got 2.87, same 2.87. And then we multiply it by a negative. So essentially, you get basically half of your positive points become negative points. You start off with a positive six for what you did in destroying enemy units, and then you lose negative one for the units that you lost. And so that gives you a score of five. Okay, you've got five points for your base score. Then we do one additional thing, which is we do a little bit of a multiplier. This multiplier basically almost never comes into account because very rarely will two forces be that different. You see Nitro has 9955 and Jesty has 9990. That's not gonna change anything. But if Nitro was running a list that was a lot less, 
So I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to delete Nitro's biggest unit. Nitro decided that he wanted to come in and just, even though he was fighting a 10k match, only show up with 7,700 BV. That's Nitro's choice. Now there's going to be a modifier. So Jesty, by having the bigger force, is going to get a little bit of a penalty. So he started off with a flat combat score of 3 and now it got moved down to 2 just because we're reflecting who's got a much stronger list. Now, as I said before, when I had Nitro just with his normal list, there really wasn't much difference. There was just enough, I guess, to take this, what number, like basically rounds to zero and get it up to one because he was, what, 45 points lower. But Jesty scores unchanged because that, that multiplier doesn't really do much. So that's this big whole equation here. Then we go with objective score. Now I have to check something. Ooh, I made a mistake. So we're gonna do just a quick switch right here. You get to actually see the magic of Excel. Okay, there we go, correct it. So both of them tied, which gives them two objective points each. And you can see right here in a ranked match, a tie is worth two objective points. If we switch that to Jesty picks up the win and Nitro picks up the loss, ten, those twos change to a positive 10 and a negative five. Okay, so now we take your adjusted combat score and your objective points, we add them together with your class level bonus, which here is zero, and you get your final score. So 15 and four. So that's how we do MRC scoring. But again, the only thing you have to do is populate what actually happened and the math will do the rest. You don't have to do anything over here. These things all happen automatically. Thank God, because I am not doing that math myself. Please. So all we need to do in this sheet is number one, change the status of our units to the corresponding status, to the actual status that that unit ended the game in. Correct. And then we fill in the uh, who won and who lost, and of course the player. You no, don't the have players to fill in the player. On, the player on the first link. page. Yep. So I just. Okay, so the players auto generate. So the only thing we need to change would be win or lose or tie. Yeah, the players are selected on uh, the player one and player two tabs. So there's the drop down that okay. we went over earlier. And you can ah, type okay. in like J E S to find me and whoever Jester is, an imposter. Okay, so this is, this is perfect. Um, uh, Sam, you just colored yellow. The only things we need to change on this sheet. Exactly. Except for the win loss tie section. That's the only thing that's not yellow. That is now, but never mind. I sit correct. While Nitro was talking, I was like, oh yeah, I should make that yellow. And I made it yellow. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's even better. The only thing you have to touch is in yellow. That makes it a lot more simple for yes. people like me who are technologically uh, declined. <laughs> and here's the last thing I want to say before I go and correct stuff and come back and finish the video. You, Like I said, you can do this and take the score posting data and then post it out in the ranked game tool as I demonstrated, or you've already made a copy. So you've done file copy. So this is your copy of the base load file and whatever you've named that. You can just go to share and you can copy link and then you can go into Discord and open up a DM with me and send me the file. And I will already have all the information I need and you won't have to then use the ranked game. Now that's only if you wanna send me a DM. And the key thing there is you gotta make sure that I open the file and take the data before you adjust it. If you you know, don't wanna go through all the work of what we showed, which took, I don't know, two minutes of the ranked game file, you can just share it directly to me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that one mistake I made with the class level bonus and then i will come back on screen and finish recording welcome back and it's been all of 10 seconds because that's how long it takes me to write an equation i swear it definitely did not take me two hours all right so now i've got the class bonus where it's a formula and it's based off the name so now nitro is correctly shown to have his zero points because again he is one of the top players and so top players um, get zero bonus points. In fact, as they get even better, they will start having negative points. So they not only stand a chance of losing points, but even if they come out with just a straight like draw, they're gonna be hard pressed to gain points. And that's just 
because we want to make it so that it's easy to gain points initially and then harder as it goes on you know standard game stuff just to demonstrate i'm going to go over to player two and i'm going to change nitro to sam and you'll see now there's a different class bonus because it's automatic so again you don't have to worry about any of that the only things you have to do is the stuff i've initially set up in yellow who the player is what their list is who the other player is what the other player's list is and again the list is just copy and paste out of Mega Mech. So as you saw at the beginning, I just highlighted all of Nitro's units, hit control C, went to Google and hit control V and it pasted in. Yeah, it gets rid of the yellow stuff. Don't worry about that. That's just so you know where you should be pasting in the first place. And then you come to the calculation sheet. And as Jesse and Nitro were already stating right towards the end of the part before I broke is you just have to do this stuff in yellow. So is it a ranked match? That's pretty much 99% of the time gonna be yes. You can use this if you're playing in a tournament and wanted to see what your combat score is from that tournament so you can toggle it from ranked match to minor tournament the multipliers change therefore the scores change um, but you know for most people doing just a ranked match just keep it on ranked match select who won or lost again unless you're just playing a straight up fight that's who won or lost the objective if it's a straight up fight then it's who won or lost the combat score and then just change the status on each mech you know each unit was it destroyed was it in good condition was it crippled and all the math automatically calculates and the final score is there. And then just go to the score posting, open up the ranked game form and all the stuff that you need to paste in is already pre-formatted so that it's just copy and paste. You don't have to type anything. It's even got the name of the players. So that way, if you're unsure what their call sign it should be for the ranked game form, there's no confusion. Their name should auto populate. Yep. And just remember, once you start your match is the best time, right? As you get in the lobby, because then you have the lobby right there. That's when you want to first open up the sheet and paste stuff in, then just minimize it, play your game, and then bring it back up at after your game to put in who was crippled or uh, destroyed. And again, you should be able to see that right on the last screen of Mega Mech, where you'll have your survivors listed and your graveyard, and again, if you click on the survivors, it should bring you up a second screen that shows you the status of that mech. And there'll be like no status, which just means you never even got touched. And then there'll be light damage, heavy damage, and then crippled. So light and heavy are still, you're in good condition. It's only when you're crippled that you change over right here on the calculation sheet from good to crippled. All right, I want to thank my two guest hosts, Nitro and Jesty. Really appreciate you guys helping me out. And again, post any questions you have in the comment section. Thank you all once again and have a great day. Thanks, Sam. This is great. I love it.